During the summer of 2023, we moved to a remote Scottish Hebridean island to be its only two residents along with our two pet sheep and pair of cats. These remote islands seem to retain an old-fashioned rhythm and a charm which we find encouraging us to live a more frugal and simple life, the way man was perhaps more intended to. We have an ancient stone cottage to restore, veggies to grow, livestock to build up, fish to catch and smoke, a boat to buy, and much more. Step back in time with us at the Scottish Isle. When did you decide to do this? Just took a fancy. So, uh, this is the wheelbarrow path. Yeah. And sheep path. And your plan is? Uh, hope the water flowing. Yeah, because it's coming from the, look, it's, look where it's coming out of underneath the uh, house. That's just, that's not just splash back from the downpipe. That's actually coming out of the, out of the, uh, the foundations. But so your plan is to go all the way round, yeah? Yeah. Uh, up there, somehow, we've just got enough stones. I'm not sure we do it in a minute. I think we've got enough stones kicking around. There's an entire wall of stones up there. We're not going anywhere. It's turned into a major operation, hasn't it, this... Uh... Yeah, but look how much better it looks. Well, it, it, I'm getting sick and tired of pull, pulling the wheelbarrow up and down those steps already. So, because just everything that's in the wheelbarrow tends to fall out, but this is going to be a much uh, gentler slope. And we're going to want to go up that way as well, aren't we? So are the sheep. So it's going to have to at least one going off in that direction, and then be that big flat one up there. Still not right. Not the one that had the name of the cottage on it. Yes, the one that fell over. A brief glimpse into sites such as Wikipedia will inform you that, historically, we only have archaeological evidence of Western civilization commemorating the departed using grave markers and tombstones from around the 16th and 17th centuries. There is a massive gap in time between, say, the ancient pagan burial mounds and ossuaries found in places such as Orkney, which are thousands of years old, and the graveyards we're familiar with today. 
So much so that many scholars will insist that after the first advance and wave of conversion to Christianity across Europe in the first centuries AD, nations soon went back to their pre-Christian pagan beliefs. However, one recent Scottish discovery of a Pictish gravestone containing Ogham script and an elaborately carved Celtic cross suggests we certainly don't know the full story. That particular stone is a testament to the sticking power of Christianity in formerly pagan nations as it dates to around 5 to 600 AD, causing a problem to what some historians have previously decided is a very tidy period of history. What's an interesting and little discussed fact is that conversion to Christianity for these pagans came easily because they understood their common heritage with the people delivering the message. Even in the Norse sagas, easy parallels can be seen with their creation and end times myths and those of the earlier biblical Genesis and later Revelation. Odin, after all, was a real earthly king, a man like any other, before he became the stuff of myth and legend. But these nations were the same people of old, and they realised the pull of their heritage and promises that reconciliation through Christianity brought. Ancestry meant a lot to them. Ancient Celtic crosses which are found in nearly all kirkyards are a testament to this acknowledgement, and are the great forebears of how we honour our departed kinsfolk today. I have found something of archaeological significance to the entire nation. Okay. So I was just walking over here trying to get the sheep to come and uh, eat some grass over here for a day. Are they being antisocial? Uh, uh, yes, they're over there, look. Uh, and uh, I just saw something. So I went and got the spade. So how long do you think that's been there? It's the other half of the gate. You're lost for words, aren't you? Um, well, why would it... Do you think it's just been left there? Lost there? Maybe there's a big hole underneath it. Well, there is now. Okay. So what you're saying is I'm going to regret pulling this out? I think you might. It can easily go back. Oh. I felt like the world's strongest man then. I felt like Jeff Capes. You don't even know who Jeff Capes no. is, do you? <laughs> well... A lot of older English people know Jeff Capes is, or was, I don't know if he's still alive. So. So, so this belongs to the nation now? Yep. I I've, I've, <laughs> I've found this for Scotland, or the greater UK. Let's write, who do you write to? The Queen? Uh, oh, no. She's dead. It's the King now. Or, um, or do you write to... Uh, Tony Robinson. I'm going to write to Tony Robinson. No, don't write to him. Write to Phil. What we've got here. What we've got here, Tony. I'm going to write to Phil Harding. He might want to come and dig it up himself. You should put it back. Uh, it's too late for that. Uh, and I'd just like to say that underneath here, it's just compacted soil. Stones. So I think at one point, this was probably put there by somebody because there was a puddle or there was something there, but... Well, the drain, the drainage here needs fixed. I was thinking that we could cut a channel off going down towards the sea that way. Anyway, let me just see if I can... It's quite heavy. Well, it's quite a large... A completely different gate to that one. Yeah, I was going to say, it's bigger. There. Do 
see what I'm doing here? I'll learn how to do that on time team. There's another uh... another half to this gate. What a lovely stone wall that is. Who? Uh... Yeah, it's this one. It's the other half to this one. Well, there's not getting any any of that out of there, is there? So what are you going to do with it? Oh, okay. Well, well, I see this in the Edinburgh Museum at least. Yeah. Yeah. Which section is it going in? Agricultural. Uh, mostly old. I nearly swore. I'm shaking. I'm cold. You cold? Yeah. It is a bit cold. Look at me. Yeah, but you told you you told me to bring in the gloves and then. Well, obviously, I want the gloves for me, not for you. Well, come on, that's a bit of a find. If we did some magnet fishing and pulled that out of the sea, we'd be like, well, "Hey, it was there all along." Um, look, the latch still on it. I know the next question is now what we get, what are we going to do with it? But I thought what you could do is uh, you could do the same as you did with the stove. Hello, geese flying. Fly, flying, flying west. Yeah, they're a bit lost. The north. No, now, and then now they're going north. They're definitely flying west. Now, now they're flying southwest. He's going to get the sack, isn't he? First, you don't know where you're going. First time we've seen the blue sky for a number of days. that way. I'm thinking. Congratulations. <clears throat> that way. It's a longer drop. So how long have you been a drainage expert? Um, since 1st July 2023. Does that fit? So for three months now? Only like it coincides with us arriving here. That is incredible. I'm glad that I thought of it. Do need to put a screw in there? Well, it just so happens that here in my hand... Hello? <laughs> I'm going to fall in.
Would you like some help? Hang on, before we do this, can I just ask a question? Yeah. Do we need silicon in it first? No. Uh, well, I'd put silicon in it and then I'd screw it, but fine. Why do you always put the long drill bit? It took me forever to find those screws. Just get in. Do you feel like Derek? <laughs> it even needs more screws in than that. Put a couple more in. Hang on, do you need some help? Because I'll come down if you do. No. Do you need the, the pipe pushing up? Oh, no, because it needs to lay, lay on the ground. No, I just meant like, it doesn't matter. I'm not, oh look, I'm trying not to interfere, but I'm obviously interfering. Interfering with my design. You've seen us walk many times down this woodland path to the cottage but uh, it's uh, suddenly turned into a burn. It's just ridiculous the amount of rain that we had and it's still getting. Look at it. Good job the new boots arrived uh, yesterday.
else is moving. Too much movement in it. Might be a bit too heavy for one person. In fact, it is. I can tell by the size of it. Yeah, no chance. This is how they built Stonehenge, you know. Kind of like this? Yep. It'll just need bedded in a lot. Right there, and I'll pack it out. <sighs> it's a bit heavy, that. We're calling this the executive cat flap. You'll see better from the inside, so let me go in there. Executive cat flap. Oh my god, you've gone very orange. You've gone back to normal now. <laughs> Everything just went really orange. Anyway, I was just saying, executive cat flap. What a beautiful job. Jeeves, are you going to come and run through it? It's lined with wax leather, isn't it, Jeeves? Come on, Jeeves. Get through the cat flap. Action shot. Why well, he doesn't like it. Okay, well. Very well done. Dang it.
cars not long back from the garage and it was making a funny noise. I think this is the heat shield from underneath it. I'm not a mechanic. I don't know anything about cars. But there should be a pin that goes in there that's obviously come out. But I think I can I think I can fit a cable tie up there to reattach it. Oh, we'll see. The nearest garage is half an hour drive from here, so got to do what you got to do. Whoever invented cable ties needs a kiss on the chin. Are you happy with this? Well, no, but it'll do for now. What's this? I don't know, that's kind of Victorian. Um, well, ah, sure. well, for me, okay. it's, for, it's for like laying slabs or for cobblestones. You... Obviously, lay them flat on your cement or whatever sand, and then you whack them flat. Whack them down with that. <clears throat> However, if anybody watching knows exactly what this is, obviously it goes the other other way up. Is there anything on the other side? Let's just turn it round so people can see. No. Okay. Well, it's obviously got some incredible age to it, but okay. yeah. I think it's for cobbles. Right, <clears throat> I'm going to go and put this on the end, end of the house. Hang on, we haven't had a, a meeting about this. The end of the house where? Over there, to pull the water further away from that puddle. Okay, why don't you scare the sheep? Isn't it a bit long? Watch the puddle! She survived the puddle. Colours of autumn are definitely starting to kick in on the island. It's going to look spectacular here in the next couple of weeks, probably by the time it gets to the end of October. Well, this was the path, obviously, well, this is the path to the house, the steps that we put in recently, but we have always been aware of the fact that getting the wheelbarrow up and down here has been a bit of a nightmare. So, what Kate has done over the past two days yeah. is create this path 
which is adjacent to the other one, which is so we can get the wheelbarrow up here. More of a ramp than steps. Because we haven't been able to get the wheelbarrow up here when it's been full at all. So this is the maiden voyage. Drum roll. The only thing I'm worried about is that big, that big step there. You know what these wheelbarrows are like? You know the front of it, if you don't have it at the right angle. Marks out of ten. Five in a bit. Oh. Now all's left to do is make it pretty. There was no point doing much more prettifying until this was in place and now yeah, now we can get on with making it look nice. I'll just say here to the where you want it in the middle ish. So how far back has it got to go? That's where it's got to go, yeah? Well that's straight up and down, but okay. Just see if it's in the middle. Okay, you bought this smoke bomb, and it's like no smoke bomb I've ever seen in my entire life, so I don't know. I'm just assuming they're going to light it there and put it in. So here we go. If this explodes, <laughs> red for danger, I might kill myself. Maybe put it in the fire. Right, shut it. That is sealed. The vent at the bottom is open. We have a new pope. Oh dear. Hooray. Hooray! Yeah. That means we can light the fire. What did you think, Pete? 
She just wants to sniff and nibble the wood. Well, Brie had an accident earlier. She slipped on this because it wasn't finished. Impatient Brie. But now, it's fine. <laughs>